All right, how's it going? It is uh, still cold up here, so in the garage, staying warm. Not a whole lot going on in the motorcycle world, northern Michigan, in the end of January. So I ordered some stuff, and uh, we're going to open it up and uh, do a, a pretty intense install today. So um, stay tuned. So as I was saying, I ordered some uh, parts from Revzilla online about a week ago, and uh, um, just came in today. And uh, we're going to get at it. So uh, I don't really do unboxing things, but we're going to do an unboxing video. So, you know, let's do this. Boop, 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 boop. Nice, nice, nice. Need to be like, uh, uh, there's a chick on the internet that does like all the fancy cars, a little, little blonde thing and, you know, Porsche. But I'm not going to do all that. So what I got, and hopefully it fits. Ooh, bubble wrap. All right now. I ordered the proper air cleaner cover that um, came was supposed to come with the today, Junior. <laughs> um, I didn't order this when I got the air filter system because this at the time was like one hundred and fifty dollars, and that's just too much money for for what it is. So um, went to Revzilla. And they had it for like 80 bucks. So end up picking it up. Um, the one I have on the bike now is a stock one. It's not bad. Take a look. It's just not um, just not really what I want to have on it. So I'm going to take that bad dog off and uh, put this new one on. So, yeah, stay tuned. All right, so first things first, we're over here at the bike now. Um, you want to identify what this, uh, what this bolt is. Right here, holding on the stock air filter cover. Um, it's a 516 Allen. I call them Allens, so you call them whatever you want. But uh, I got this cool little rolly cart that I, I didn't build it by any means, but made it into what it is. Um, I use this a lot for detailing. Um, when I'm detailing the bike or the car or the truck or something, I sit in my little stool here and uh, roll around the vehicles. And do my thing so this thing actually helps out a lot because i had this huge shop i mean i have to go all the way over there to get tools and that's just unacceptable so um fat men all over the world can appreciate that so we're going to take off this uh 5 16 allen head and we're going to uh to put the new one on so let's do this all right yeah. put that in there do a twisty twisty and she pops right off now this isn't a thing that just anybody can do you have to be a master youtube technician to do this type of job so this thing's in pretty good shape still um anyone looking for one let me know you can have it i'll ship it out to you then we put on this guy so now this is the vanson hines vo2 filter cap um, I have the VO2 um, air sucker there. So I'm going to put this on to cover it up, um, make it look good as it does. I do run it a lot just without it. And I, I'm not, my bike's not pretty by any means, so this does not bother me. But uh, this does look a little better. So um, they do, it does come with a, with a little, little nut there. Um, I'm not going to run this one. I'm going to stick to the stock one just because I think it looks a little better. And yes, I know um, I do have a rain sock for this. So before I get the, what are you doing? You should run this and do that. I, I mean, I appreciate it. But uh, that looks pretty darn good. Oh, yeah. So there she is. I mean, probably the hardest install on this bike so far. <laughs> um, definitely not something you want to take to the dealership to do. And I am certain that anybody watching this can do this. I mean, if I can do it, again, it's one, it's one nut. This is, this is not even video worthy, but... There's three feet of snow outside. It's 20 degrees. And there's not a whole lot of content to be made right now. So I'm doing my best. But yeah, I think it looks pretty darn good. 
step back here from the bike, take a gander. I mean, other than the new Tab Performance heat shields, that's the uh, other shiniest thing on the bike. So, I like it. All right, so the good people over at Vance and Hines and their infinite wisdom understand that not everybody is a mechanic. So um, they do send some installation instructions, VR codes. Yes, we're, we're in that world now. But uh, it does tell you what to do. You know, you unscrew a bolt, you take off the old one, put the new one on, screw it back in. So not talking any shit. Some people can't comprehend that, but here it is. So they do cover all their bases. So another quick thing I want to touch base on as well is this new product I got from chemical guys. This is black on black. This is for um, instant trim shine protection. So over on my bike, might be hard to see. I do have a little bit of, of stuff going on here that I would just like to clean up on that uh, inner fairing. I'm not, I'm not cool enough to have a painted inner fairing. So I'm going to use this and just see, uh, see what it does. Now, so the instructions here for the black on black from Chemical Guys say to spray on, buff, and let it air dry. Or you could towel dry if you prefer. So, again, pretty detailed on what we're going to be doing with this. Oh, it's pretty. Buff it. Microfiber towel. I get these at uh, Harbor Freight. They're like... I don't know, 15, 10 or 15 for like 10 bucks. So, and they, they do, ooh, let me tell you something. This stuff smells amazing. Can already see a big difference just with that. So what I'm going to end up doing is just spraying this onto the towel and doing everything else. But I don't know if you can see the difference. I certainly can. And I like it. So, yeah, I mean, it, it looks good. It worked really well. How well you can actually see in there. This was, I wouldn't say it was faded, but it wasn't as pristine as it is now. Even did, like, the tops of the controls, things like that on both sides. So, I mean, this is made for, like, any plastic part on your car, truck, bike. Um, not something you want to use as, like, pig spit on the engine or even on your floorboards. It's a, it's a uh, what do they call it, uh, coating technology. So... I mean, it's not time tested. We'll see how it lasts in the long run, but uh, for like bike show stuff, for sure. If you're just getting the bike cleaned up, do a show with or something like that, definitely great. Not that my bike's any type of show bike at all, unless you want to count the uh, Abate Region 3 bike night at Fallen Timbers. Don't want to mention who won that contest, but uh, yeah, I mean, you can shine up a turd. And that stuff definitely works, so I like it. I mean, so far with the look of the bike that I got going, it's uh, it's looking pretty darn good for being a a twelve year old bike. She does all right, so I'm impressed. I definitely recommend getting that um stuff from Chemical Guys, black on black, and uh, checking it out. So it's uh, I got a lot of Chemical Guys um detailing things. I got the Hydro Slick. This is awesome. I do like the Diablo wheel cleaner. Probably one of the best wheel cleaner products on the market, in my opinion. And then I got a, a couple other small things. But, uh, oh, yeah, this right here is really good, too, for just quick detailing. Just a quick, you know, spray, spray, wiper down. This uh, quick detailer. I really like that, too, and it smells really good. It smells like bubble gum. And then uh, for the engine stuff, I, I definitely like using the pig spit. So this stuff is great, and uh, I mean this can last. I mean, this can's over a year old, and it's still about half full. So you don't really need to use it every single wash. But yeah, so that's her. We'll uh, we'll catch you all next time. Later. Well, I'm on the YouTube's doing some editing, and uh, just wanted to say thank you. Was not expecting that from that video. That's pretty cool. So, anyways. Got some beautiful lunch from Francisco's here in Traverse City. 
some soup, awesome place. And of course I have a starving labby down here who's dying, so geez oh Pete's. Anyways, thank you guys. I appreciate you.